All right, we're going to do how to do a melee attack. And so I created this branch and threw it into my room just to try the 360 thing out. Important to know about your sprite if you're going to have it rotating around another sprite, at least in this example. I made my sprite, my original Pac-Man one is only this big, which is 32. And I made this one this big with it centered here so that when I rotate, it's going to pivot on that point and rotate around our Pac-Man guy, which is what we want. So this dangerous looking branch is going to rotate around there. So we have our object. Uh, we have our, there it is. With no event. So uh, for starters, we're just going to throw an event, a create event in here where we will set an alarm so that the branch doesn't exist forever. So let's just do uh, alarm. Oops, not that. The zero with alarm, and we're going to make it equal to I don't know one second. We'll probably come back and change that, but we just need to get some stuff down here. We can modify it later. When the alarm goes off, alarm zero, we want it to destroy itself. So we just do an instance destroy. And if you leave empty parentheses there, it's just going to destroy whatever is calling the event, which in this case is the branch. Now, we have a branch sitting in the room, so it already exists. But when we really run it, we're going to tie him to the Pac-Man guy, but we're not there yet. So after a second, it'll destroy itself. Now, as soon as it's created in every step of its life, we want it to be rotating. So... Inside the step event, we're going to add a little script here. Let's maximize this. There we go. Collapse some of these windows. We don't need all that. So we want to rotate this every step of the way. So in the step event of our branch, we're going to stay going to say image angle. Now, how do we add something to its current value? You can say plus equals, which will say whatever it is, add, and let's say 20 degrees to it. So we can just say plus equals 20. So every step of its life, it's going to rotate 20. Let's see what that looks like when we run it. Oh, look at that. Interestingly, it rotated that direction. So if you want it to go the other way, you could do minus equals 20, first of all. And you'll notice that, is that about the speed that you wanted, Marcus? Yeah. Okay, but it went two times around, didn't it? So what do we have to change? Let's watch it again. We don't want it to exist as long as it does, right? Change what? Ah, yes. So we don't want it to exist as long. The, the degrees was actually really good. So we need to say under its create event, hey, you don't need to exist quite that long. Let's cut it in half and run it and see how it looks. Ooh, not quite long enough. It didn't make it. It started here and it ended about here, didn't it? So what do we need to do now? Give it a little bit longer life, right? So maybe like 20. That's pretty good. It might even be a little bit over. I'm going to bump mine to 18. That's pretty good. You could adjust it further, but I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Now, just out of curiosity, what if we change this to 10? Oops, not 100. What do you predict will happen? Yeah, we're not giving as much progress every step, so it's not going to make it all the way around. Exactly. So I'm going to change it back, but 
just to show that you can adjust those how you see fit. Now, we currently have the branch thrown into the room. That's not really what we want. So we need to get our, uh, uh, we need our little tab bar things back. Where's our resources at? I think I closed it. Come back resources. There you are. So in our object Pac-Man, how do we create that? Whatever our little attack button is, I guess. Um, mine's going to be uh, the space bar, I guess. Well, no, I already have that for shooting. So my melee is going to be the uh, M key for melee. How about that? Uh, you could do this inside your step event. I'm going to just do the key down M. Drag a script in here. Maximize that up. So when we press the M key, we want to do a create of some kind, right? So what do we have for that? Not just create. We want to do a instance create. And now in the old game maker, it was just instance create. But now in Game Maker Studio 2, it's instance create depth. So it's looking for an X, a Y, a depth, and what do you want to create? So instance create depth. And I'm just going to say X comma Y because it's going to be right where our Pac-Man is, right? The depth, I want it to be underneath my guy. So depth being a positive number would be like underwater how far, underneath your guy how far. So I'll just say one for that. And what do I want to create? Obj branch. And I'll hit the tab key there to auto-complete that. So now, when we press the M key, it should create a branch. Now, some of you might see a problem with this, but let's see what happens. We could take the other one out of the room if we wanted, but it doesn't really matter. So there's our guy. Ooh, look at that. If I hold the M key... <laughs> Whee! <laughs> so we have a couple of problems. We can swing our branch around us. It actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's looking good. Problem is, we can hold the M key, first of all, and it creates lots of them, right? Not good. So what do we really need to do? Okay, we could set a cooldown. We could also say, if there's already a branch, or, you know, only create new ones if there's not already branches in there. So we could do it either way. Uh, let's try, you could do it your way. I'm going to try the uh, instance count because you should only have one branch in the game at a time. So, and also I can move while I'm swinging, which we're going to fix that too. So, we figured out that we want to say if the branch does not exist, create a new branch, right? It shouldn't just always create it when you hit the M key. And so this little exclamation point here is the not. So if instance does not exist of whatever you want. So we want to do, let's bump this down temporarily. If not instance exists, and I'll hit the tab key to autocomplete because it's doing a good job of predicting what I'm doing here. And what do we want to check for? The object branch. So whenever you do an if, you should, if you're doing multiple thing, multiple lines, you would open up the curly braces. And if the branch does not exist, then and only then should it do this. So I'm going to cut it from there and paste it here. So if a branch does not exist, create a branch. Save that and run it. 
still need to take that one out of our room, but okay. Ah, look at that. Now it looks like it's going in a perfect circle because as soon as the last one disappears, if I hold down the key, you could do a key press and change that if you want to make them keep tapping. So that's pretty cool. It looks like it's just continually going. Now, if you want to make your guy stationary so you can't run around while you're swinging, you need to make your movement dependent on whether or not you're not hitting the M key, right? Or you could say if branch exists, or I'm sorry, if branch does not exist, then go ahead and move, right? So if you want to make your guy stationary while you're doing that, I'll just go back to my pack here. Our movement is, uh, I think inside of here, yeah. Uh, uh, mine's a little tricky here, but hold on. To make sure we're not moving while we're swinging the branch, um, this all this yucky code, not yucky code, this is actually really good code. This code is from Sean Spaulding's uh, Tile Collisions tutorial, but what we're going to do is say, whoa, the, um, uh, that maximize thing is wonky. When, this is what's controlling my speed, but that should only execute if there's no branch. So we're going to say if instance exists obj branch, then hf, the, your horizontal speed equals zero, your vertical speed equals zero. But otherwise, or else, then it'll run these things. I don't think that indents quite right, but oops. Oh god. Now we've done it. There we go. Still wrong, but okay, so this will prevent us from moving if there's a branch. So I can't move. As long as that branch exists, I can't move. There we go. Nice. Now we just need to do the collisions with the enemies, etc. But that's uh, it for doing the rotation.